Hey everyone, in today's video we will be learning how you can create this awesome zoom in on video or image on scroll using Elementor completely for free. No matter what kind of website it is, interactive sections like this make any website so much more interesting. So without any further delays, let's get into today's video. So first of all you guys have to come to your Elementor canvas and as you guys have already seen that this is a section which works on scroll. So if we scroll down the video gets bigger and if we scroll up the video gets smaller. However, in order for this effect or this section to work, we do need a top section and a bottom section, right? Since we need sections to scroll through. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. First of all, I'm gonna create a top section, but this is not the focus of today's video. This video section that you see here is what we're gonna be focusing on. So let's go back. And now I'm just going to create a top section first for demonstration purposes. In your case, you can make any section as you like. That's totally okay. So I'll just create a section here and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back after creating a simple section. As you guys can see, I've just put down some headings and a button. Now after creating a section, make sure that from its advanced tab, you give it a padding value for this container so that this container aligns perfectly with our scroll video effect container which we're gonna put down up next. So for this container, unlock the paddings first, then make the top padding 120 pixels, set right to 20, bottom to 40 and then left to 20. So now this container has breathing space and when we scroll through this container and our video container, it would look really good. Alright, so now once we're done creating this, now it's time to create our main section, which is this section. So let's go back. Now I'm just going to create a new container from here. Click on this plus icon, choose the flexbox layout. Now choose this direction, the column direction. Now from this container's layout, make sure the content width is boxed and give it a width value of 1600 pixels. Now set the align items to center. Then make all the gaps values 20 pixels. Now go to its style tab. Set the background type to classic. Then let's give it a color code in this field. So choose this color picker. Now in this field we're gonna type FBC1D4. There you go. We have this nice pink color background. Let's go back. Then go to its advanced tab. Here I'll link the padding values. To make them all zero, now set the right padding to 20 pixels. Then left padding to 20 pixels as well. And leave the rest as they are. So we're done with this container. Let's take another container inside of it. Click on this plus icon or you can also click on this plus icon. Then from the widget section, let's drag this container in here. Now let's rename these containers to avoid confusion. So double click on them. Then for the first one, I'm just going to rename this container video container. Press enter to save it. And then for the second one, I'm going to change this one as inner video container since it is inside of this container here. Now once we're done renaming the container, let's go to the layout of this container. Make sure that the content width is full width. And for width, let's change the percentage scale to pixel scale. Now give it a minimum height value in this field. So we're going to make it 550 pixels. There you go. Now set the line items to center. Then make all the gaps values 20 pixels. Now go to the advanced tab. Here unlink the margin values. Now set the top margin as 300 pixels. Then right to 0. Bottom to minus 35 pixels. And then left to 0. Now unlink the padding values to make them all 0 pixels. Now we're going to scroll down and give it a z-index value. Let's make it as high as possible. So I'm just typing 999. And if you're wondering what a z-index value is, well z-index value basically determines which element will show on top of the other one. So the higher the z-index value is, the higher or on top of the element will be. Okay, so now inside of this container, we're going to add some widgets. So click on this plus icon. Now from here, we're going to drag this video widget in here. There you go. Now I want to put a video of my own in this field. So I'm going to change the source to self-hosted. Now let me choose a video from here. Currently there are no videos in my WordPress media library as you guys can see. So let me upload one. Choose select file. I'll just choose this video. Then click on open. So the video has been uploaded in my WordPress library. Now I'm just going to select it. There you go. We have our video on our Elementor canvas. Now from here we're going to change some options. So let's turn on this autoplay so that this video will always be playing on our website. Now after that what we're going to do is turn mute on and loop on as well and turn the other options off. So only these three options we're setting as yes, the other ones are no. Now go to its advanced tab. Here unlink the margin values. Now set the top margin to minus 300 pixels. Then leave the rest as zero pixels. Now scroll down, go inside of its border drop down. Here set all the border radius values to 25 pixels so that this video will have a nice border here. Now we'll just simply duplicate this video widget here. Right click on it, click on duplicate. Now go to its advanced tab, scroll down, go inside of this border drop down. Here make all the border radius values 100 pixels. 
Now if you're wondering why I'm setting two videos here, well that's because one will be shown in the desktop view and the other one will be shown in the tablet or mobile portrait. Since as you guys know that different devices have different measurements, so the same settings will not apply on all the devices, right? So let's go back to desktop view. Now here for the second video, I'm just going to scroll down here, then go inside of responsive. Now hide it on desktop. So this will be only visible on tablet portrait and mobile portrait. And for this first one, let's do the opposite. So from under its advanced tab, scroll down, go inside of responsive. Then we'll just hide it on tablet portrait and mobile portrait, but show it on desktop. So finally, we're all done setting up our video. Now that's all left to do is put some CSS codes in order for this video to zoom in just like this one. Okay, so let's go back here. But the good news is you guys won't have to do any coding. I've already done the coding for you. You just have to follow some simple steps. So first of all, what we're going to do is scroll down, then click on this plus icon. Now in this field, we're going to search for HTML widget. This is the one we're looking for. Let's drag it down here and put it here. So now it's inside of a new HTML container. You can rename it as HTML container. And this container will be only visible to us, not the visitors of our website. But just so this container doesn't ruin our measurements, let's go to its advanced tab, then unlink the padding values to make them all zero. There you go. Now up next, go to gymfadigital.com. Here you'll find this video zoom in style CSS. So I'm just going to copy this whole portion, copy it from here, then go back here and now choose this HTML widget. Then in this field, I'm just going to paste it. So right click over it and click on paste. There you go. Now let's go back, then scroll down to the below and you'll find this video zoom in effect JS code, which is the JavaScript code. So we're going to copy this whole portion as well. Copy to clipboard, then go back here and just scroll down here. Then from here, press enter a few times on your keyboard to make spaces, then paste the code that we just copied. So right click on it and click on paste. There you go. So this is the CSS code and this is the JavaScript code. All right. Now in order for this effect to activate, let's go back to Jimfa Digital again and here you'll find these CSS class names. We're just going to copy this first portion first, copy it, then go back here. Now choose this first video, go to its advanced tab, scroll down, then under its CSS classes field, we're going to put the CSS class name. So here, right click on it and click on paste. There you go. The effect has been applied and it will be shown in the front end page. I'll give you guys a preview later, don't worry. Now let's go back here then choose this second portion tablet video and right click on it to copy then go back choose the second video and here we're going to paste it paste there you go so this one will work for the desktop view and this one will work for the tablet and mobile view now we're all done with desktop you can save your precious work up until now by pressing this publish button now let's do the responsive so that this section looks great on all devices so first let's go to the tablet portrait here choose this video container then from under its advanced tab unlink the margin values to make them all zero now for padding unlink the values first then set the right padding to 20 pixels bottom to 80 pixels and left to 20 pixels now choose this inner video container now from under its layout set the width value to 100 percent also for minimum height let's change the pixel scale to custom scale then in this field we're going to type 100 percent that's 100 and then percent. All right, now let's move on to the advanced tab. Here, unlink the margin values to make them all zero. There you go. Now choose this first video. Go to its advanced tab, unlink the margin values to make them all zero. Then choose this second video. Also go to its advanced tab and unlink the margin values to make them all zero. All right. Now scroll down and go to its border drop down here. Here, set all the border radius values to 15 pixels. All right, we're done with the tablet view. Let's move on to the mobile view. Here, choose this video container. Make sure to unlink the margin values to make them all zero. Then unlink the padding values. Now set the right padding to 20 pixels, bottom to 80 pixels, and then left to 20 pixels as well. And with that, we're all done. Let's move on to the desktop view. Now let's publish our work. All right, so we're done here, but in order to see the full effect of the scroll and video zoom in, we do need another section, right? Which is going to be our bottom section. So for that, let me just go to kitpapa.com. Here they sell ready-made template kits for different kinds of websites and I have their full lifetime access deal so I can access any of the ready-made template kits from here. So I'll just copy and paste a section from one of the ready-made template kits in this field 
and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back after putting down this bottom section so that now we can scroll through this video and see the full effect of this zoom in video scroll. So with that we're all done here. Let's save our work up until now. Click on publish. Now let me give you guys a preview of our final page. So click on this eyeball icon to preview changes. Alright, so this is what our final section is looking like. Oops, the video is coming too down below on top of the bottom section. We don't want that. So let's go back to our Elementor canvas. Now from here, let's choose this inner video container inside of video container. Go to its advanced tab, unlink the values, the padding values. Now let's set the bottom padding only to 200 pixels. There you go. And due to this change, we also have to change a bit of tablet settings as well. So just go to tablet portrait. Now for the same container, unlink the padding values to make them all zero. All right. So finally we're done, I think. Let's publish our work. And now let's go to the final page. So now if we scroll down, everything will come down perfectly. See how good it's looking? So even if you make tiny mistakes, no need to worry. You can fix them whenever you want. Alright, so this was our zoom in on video or image on scroll using Elementor for free. I hope this video was useful to you and if it was, please give this video a big thumbs up. Also, leave a comment down below about the learning experience from this whole video. Every feedback is appreciated. Oh, by the way, if building websites yourself feels overwhelming, don't worry, we also design websites for clients. From landing pages to business websites, we do it all. You can reach out to us through jimfadigital.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Alright then, this was it for today's video. I hope to see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.